What's good, YouTube man? Back again with another video. And a uh, quick disclaimer, real quick. I'm trying out this mic uh, for the first time just to see how it sounds, um, to see if it's like better quality for the video. Um, so if it don't sound right, it's getting uploaded regardless. That's what I'm saying. Quick disclaimer. It's getting uploaded regardless, but if it sounds weird, it's just I'm trying out this mic, and then if it don't do good, then I won't do it no more. Or if it do good, I'm gonna keep doing it. <clears throat> but um yeah today's video is just gonna be about um Caleb Williams and how he looked in his first preseason game and then kind of just like if I feel like he gonna have a, um, a good impact this season as far as um having a successful first season as a rookie so um he definitely got the pieces around him and from what I've seen from his first preseason game he looked solid like he showed flashes of Mahomes, and people are just saying, like, they they pulling up his stats and stuff, kind of saying that he didn't have a crazy game. Like, y'all already comparing him to Mahomes, but it's the fact that what we've seen from Caleb Williams up until this point, like, including college, and then, like, the first game, you can already tell that he's going to be translating pretty much everything that he did in college into the league. And that's, like, the main thing that, like, you have to do as far as passing the eye test of people watching you and assessing your game and how you play, like, and how really successful you are as a pro is how you come into the league and play the same way and really elevate past levels that you was doing in college that got you to the league in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Caleb Williams, he showed that he can still be an improviser. He can still be mobile in the pocket, a playmaker. Um, he always looking to make a, a big play or he can always look to uh, extend the play. And if you go back and look at Russell Wilson, that was really what made him really like prevalent as far as like becoming such a great quarterback um, really of our, of our era. Because when he came into the league, um, a lot of his success was out of the pocket, improvising, using his legs and stuff like that, just being a playmaker. So when you got guys like that, they got the arm talent too. It just makes it a lot, you know, it like it makes it a lot more of a case to say that they're a good player, a great player. You know what I'm saying? Because they was able to translate that to the pros and be, you know, what I'm saying better and better and consistently put up crazy stats. But um, you know, he just showed me that it's not too much pressure, too. I think a lot of times when you get into a rookie or something like that and you want to assess like kind of how they gonna be as far as their career, and it's you can't never really just make an accurate judgment anyway, just because. Um, you know what I'm saying? You might have an up year. You might have a down year. You know what I'm saying? You never know, but you want more good than bad. You know what I'm saying? And you can kind of get a little gauge of that whenever you just allow yourself to look at how they play beforehand and the way they get to the league to what they do. Because obviously, it's not going to be at the same success rate because everybody pros on the field. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just showed flashes of being able to use that same arm talent he got and he showed that he didn't have uh, any pressure, even when he had like defense, like people trying to sack him and stuff like that. He was still able to make plays and uh, get outside the pocket, and you know what I'm saying, throw on the run. You know what I'm saying, off off platform throws. Like you want to see stuff like that, and he's able to do that. And you know what I'm saying, it's looking like it's Patrick Mahomes esque. You know what I'm saying, like they definitely, I can see the comparisons. They both have that little like, like I don't know that little like swag to him. I wouldn't even say it's swag, but it's just like, I don't know. They're like, their demeanor is the same. Like, they both be on some shit, like, chewing on their mouthpiece and shit. Like, the way they walk, kind of the way they run, jog, you could say it's kind of zesty a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Or it's like, too, you know what I'm saying? They trying to be too, like, cute or whatever with they look, you know what I'm saying? Moving. I don't know. It's just like, they a little, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, they got the same demeanor. I can't describe it, but, you know what I'm saying? And they got the same arm talent, too. Caleb Williams can launch it. And he can put the ball on in the bucket, you know what I'm saying, pretty much on the run or stand in the pocket. And he can use his legs just like Mahomes. I think he's a little faster than Mahomes, to be honest, more, a little bit more elusive. But um, I feel like they play, like, kind of like backyard football a little bit. Like, or if you was playing, like, seven on seven or something, like, you would be more inclined to play a little loose. I feel like they, they both play loose. But they play smart at the same time. So that's why they, like, kind of elite. They're the new style of quarterbacks. Like, you got the Lamars, who are primarily more run heavy, but can pass too. But their strong suit is really more of their legs. And then you got, like, the Patrick Mahomes, who is, like, the improvisers. Like, 
the perfect Madden build. Like, they can run and pass. Like, you don't need too much of a run quarterback because you're trying to sit in the pocket and dot. But also, when you got to roll out and you see something developing, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a perfect Madden build if you were making a perfect type of player. It's a Patrick Mahomes or a Caleb Williams. But, yeah, he, he definitely had a – he had a, a solid first game for the, his preseason. Um, I'm ready to see week one. I'm really not too – I really don't be caring too much about the preseason. So, I've been tapped in, but not as much um, as I probably would used to be when I was, like, maybe in high school or middle school still uh, still playing football. But, like, nowadays, I just be wanting to see, you know what I'm saying, week one, do that. I want to get on my fantasy, you know what I'm saying. Also, too, I wonder if – do y'all think he would be a good pick for fantasy this year, Caleb Williams? You got you to look at it. He has all the pieces to be successful. And these are, like, more reasons why I think he's going to have a good first year. Um, just based off of that preseason game, uh, I think that he is going to be successful. But I don't think it's going to be, you know, anything crazy like, you know what I'm saying, Super Bowl run. I don't know. Um, but I think it's definitely going to be a solid year. Like, they definitely going to make the playoffs, I feel like. I feel like they could possibly make the playoffs. Like, even if it's wild card. As a rookie, to, to make the playoffs, that's impressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I, I got him going. Now, now, how many games? Let me see. I don't know, man, because, I mean, they got Keenan Allen, DJ Moore. Like, they got the receivers. And they got DeAndre Swift. Like, they just too much. I, okay, I think I think they'll win, like, 10 games. I give them 10. I give them 10 with Caleb Williams. I definitely do, just because I just feel like – I don't know, bro. He played too much like Mahomes, and he got he got actual weapons as a rookie. Now, the O-line might be suspect, but he still got, you know what I'm saying, the pieces around him to go out and play Caleb Williams football, which is get the ball to a playmaker. Or if you can't, you know what I'm saying, you got speed over there too, so if you can't get it to him off rip, you can improvise, or you can just go run and get it like Chicago. They really had that with Justin Fields too. We ain't going to talk about that. Because he wasn't a problem for sure. But he's definitely in a way better position than Justin Fields, which is kind of messed up on Justin Fields' part because he really could have came in the league and been one of those guys. Like, he really could have been an elite for real. But, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't allowed to really, I think, make mistakes and learn from him because of um, just the situation. You always under pressure. So, you, you know what I'm saying? Caleb Williams might be in a lot of those situations too, but I think he'll be able to handle them way better than he would have if he didn't have all them weapons. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think as far as how he did, how he played, and if he kind of, you know what I'm saying, favor Mahomes play style a little bit or what y'all think, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, y'all also let me know too if y'all like the, the quality on the mic, like how it sounds. So, um, I know it's going to sound a lot more like amplified when I'm talking so hopefully it ain't too bad but um yeah man that's gonna be it for this video appreciate y'all watching I'm gone